go. Drop the plate on. Notice I didn't clamp it down. Lift the door up. Two finger motion. Very good. Now I can bring the uh, cutting head over to the position where I want to cut the next part. You see I have a heaney beam there. And I basically bring it over to the edge of the sheet and where I want my new zero zero of the part to be, right there. I go into the run mode and I say add a job. The job I want is this shock mount job. And I'm going to say I want one part. There it is on the graphic. I say OK. The part comes in, and now I want to do it and execute it first, so I bring it, slide it up to the front, and it tells me that I need a nozzle. The previous nozzle was a 1.4, I need a 1.0. I just put a 1.0 in the machine two seconds ago before I loaded the sheet. I say close. It brings it to the top of the list. I now have to tell it to re-reference the machine, so I go to setup. I go to the area called program options. I say use current position. It sets up the new zero point access, uh, zero point offset to where that Heaney beam is. I go back to the run mode and I push the cycle start button. It purges with the gas that it's about to use, in this case oxygen. I'm using a one millimeter nozzle. The material is 3 16 steel. It's purging and it only purges for the first part. Every part after this will just continue cutting. Take a look at the edge quality. 